Welcome back to the channel, guys. Happy Sunday. This is my 99 Chaparral 1930 SS Sport I bought about four weeks ago. And if you guys have been watching every Sunday, our last episode, we actually just gel coated the whole boat. And if you guys missed that, go ahead, check out the previous video, go check out the channel. It was a long process, but it's well worth it. And you guys will probably learn something along the way. So far, this boat project, it's been going really well. And I've learned a lot from it. You guys are watching part one, we pressure wash the entire boat, it looked great, and we also clean up those marine seats. And I showed you guys a trick I learned, it worked really good. And that same video, we stripped the decals off, and in part two, we sanded the boat and got prepped for the epoxy primer. And in part three, we epoxy primer the entire boat and did some other stuff too. And the epoxy primer laid on really well. If you guys missed the last video, like I said, we did gel coat the entire boat and I did make a few mistakes, but I learned from them and I was able to teach you guys through the process of what to do, what not to do. If you guys haven't checked out the channel yet, go ahead, head over there, check out the channel, see our other work we've been doing. I know you guys will like it and I enjoy you guys checking out the content. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm talking again. I know, brace yourself. Um, <laughs> I just dyed all the carpet and I'm so happy I went with that gray color. It's gonna look so good with what I picked out for this boat. I can't wait to show you guys what I picked out for the boat because what I've noticed online is these companies that sell this, uh, it's like these marine pads, right? And if you wanna order for your boat, they're charging you like 1,300 bucks. Well, I did my research, I went online and I found you can buy it in rolls and you can cut it how you want. And I even found some that had a self-adhesive on it, right? These rolls are about seven feet long by 40 inches. And I ordered four of them. It put me a little bit over budget. And if you guys wanna see that, you can go rewind the video and see the Excel spreadsheet I was showing. And it cost me about, man, I wanna say it cost me 200 bucks for four of those rolls. But it's gonna it's gonna really set this boat off. Like I said, I want this boat to be good. I want it to be marketable. I want it to pop. I want somebody to come and see it and be like, "Wow, man, I've never seen a boat like this." So, anyways, I don't know if you guys are ready, but are you ready? Are you guys ready to see the carpet? If you guys do have more questions about this carpet and like how it feels, how's the quality of it, let me know in the comments below, and I'll, I'll try to answer questions the best of my ability. But I think this video is gonna do a pretty good job of it. So, anyways, without further ado. I'll show you guys. Bam! There it is. Now, for this carpet, I am going to include a link down in the description. So if you guys want to buy it, you can. Um, I'm not doing promo codes or anything like that. I only got 180 subs, so nothing too crazy. I can't get you guys 15% off or something. The quality of this carpet is just awesome. And I'll try to get a better shot for you guys down here there's a little instruction book that comes with it but it's supposed to it's supposed to look like teak wood you know but it's actually like a foam and it's really stain resistant and washes off easily and it even has like 4d depth and texture to it you guys can see that right there the great thing about this is if you're putting it in your own boat and you need to trim it a certain way is that you can take a razor blade and cut down these lines right here Make it as wide as you want, any shape you want. And I think, I think after, you know, after I put this carpet in, if I do end up liking it, which of course I'm gonna like it, it looks awesome. So stick around for the end of the video because if I pull this off, I'm gonna love it. It's gonna save me so much money. Another thing I like to do is, um, it comes in a really tight roll. So I have these paint cans sitting in the corners and I'm taking my heat gun while it's sitting like this and I'm heating it up really good so it loses that roll memory. But anyways, we need to get back to the boat. I know you guys wanna see the boat and what I'm doing to it. So I'm gonna heat this carpet up and I'm gonna try to get some good angles and good footage of, for you guys of how it goes on. Well, I got off work earlier today and I started working at about five o'clock, 5 p.m. and the sun's kind of going down. So hopefully I can heat this carpet up in time to put in the boat. So. After I'm done with it, I'll let you guys know how easy it was, if I would do it again, if I would buy it again. Let's do it.
All right, guys, this is day 11 of working on the boat, and it's Sunday for me, and it's about three o'clock in the afternoon here in sunny Florida, and I got, I'm got i standing here, I got the boat right behind me, and this boat, man, uh, she's looking great on the outside, and as you guys just saw, I just got the carpet in, that was about, that was day 10 for the boat, and I'm gonna go up here real quick, and I'll show you guys how the carpet turned out. All right. So, okay, so that's new, that's what I was worried about, but luckily, if you guys, if you guys can see, we just had a storm come in, so I was inside and I was hoping nothing like this would happen, but I was kind of expecting it. We did have the carpet come up a little bit right there, but I'm not too worried about it, because as you can see, the holes right there, that's where the seat pedals is gonna go, so it should mat right down and it should hide right under it. Um, other than that, this carpet laid down awesome, and I highly recommend it to you guys. It's the only thing I have left to do for the inside of the boat, and then we're gonna be done. The only thing I have left to do, right? I gotta put that seat in, that seat in, and I gotta get this middle piece in. Other than that, it's just seats and that middle piece, so it's not really too much work. I just wanna get it done so I have it off my mind, and then once that's done, all we have left is the mechanical issues of the boat, and that should go pretty easy, so let's start getting this crap in. All right, guys, I'm standing here with this middle piece right now. It's sitting pretty right there. And my game plan for this, um, I'm going to go ahead and scotch tape all these metal edges, and I'm just going to spray dye the carpet that nice gray color so it matches the carpet and the trim inside of the boat. Now, just a quick reminder for you guys watching at home, if you guys are learning anything or if you're inspired or you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you wanna stay up to date on the project, go ahead and ring that bell so you don't miss a video I put out. Um, again, this whole channel is for me to inspire people and help them learn, but we are on our journey to $100,000. And I'm kind of laughing about it, but I really do think it's possible. And I'm gonna stick with this YouTube thing because I'm really liking it. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys learned something. And if you guys missed anything, I'm gonna put a link to my channel right here. But anyways, I gotta stop talking. I'm gonna start doing this and get this boat finished up. So let's do it. All right, so I just got done spraying the carpet on this middle piece and it turned out really good actually. So it took a lot of dye and everything looked good. Um, but while this is sitting, while it's sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and put the seats in and I have all my power tools at work and most of my tools at work right so now. I'm gonna so, be, so I'm gonna be using just a normal screwdriver to put these seat pedestals in. I got those right here. So once I get these seat pedestals in, I'm gonna put the seats in and hopefully this guy's dry by then, so stick around to the end because you guys gotta see this before and after, so let's do it. Overall, the carpet was fairly easy to install. Here's a quick before and after for you guys. And if you guys remember, guys, tune in next Sunday for another video. Have a good Sunday. Stay busy.